Well, Vic, it is still a very active scene out here. Now, behind me, I can see investigators taking photos of the evidence markers that are scattered along the sidewalk. From where I'm standing, I can tell that there are at least over a dozen of those evidence markers. Now, what do we know tonight so far? Five people have been shot, four of them adult men, one of them a juvenile. They are all recovering from non life threatening injuries, but of course, still a lot of questions remain. Police say they are still trying to figure out the person or persons who pulled the trigger. Gunshots heard throughout the neighborhood after gunfire erupted Tuesday night. What we believe happened is that at or around that time, uh, there were a group of individuals standing near that intersection of Borman and Town. They were approached by a different group of individuals, we believe three or more, who approached them. At some point, a conflict ensued, guns were drawn, shots were fired. And uh, these five individuals were shot and struck. Commissioner Michael Harrison said it all happened before 9 p.m. Crime tape and cop cars blocked off the street as police searched for evidence. Police say they're still working to figure out how many guns were fired and who pulled the trigger. Extreme violence, brazen violence, where people are shooting indiscriminately into crowds could have hurt more people. And right now we're dealing with five people dealing with non-life threatening injuries, but it could have been much worse. And Chief Michael Harrison says tonight that three of those victims were treated here at the scene and transported to a local hospital. Two other victims made it to the hospital on their own. Another big question police say they are still trying to get answered tonight is they want to know if all of the victims were a part of the same group or separate groups. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Krishna for WJZ.